Well, we didn't realise what was happening. We arrived at the site where we were waiting for the bomb to explode. Uh, it was a big area, about a mile across, and there were thousands of us in, in rows sitting down with our backs to uh, the proposed site. The voice came over the tannoy, um, countdown, 10, 9, so on, 3, 2, 1, flash. And the whole of our eyes lit up and we had our back to it. It was a light you cannot describe, uh, which lasted for a second or so. We turned around to have a look, but you couldn't see anything, it was too bright. And then gradually you could see this swirling mass right up in the sky, raising up in the sky, and it was getting bigger and the swirling, and the, the, it's like a boiling cauldron of fire. It was frightening. Um, and then they started counting. Stand by for the blast. Now, it was only a hundred seconds from the time it went off to the time the blast re reached us. Uh, it went five, four, three, two, one. And as you said too, the palm trees across the other side of this clearing folded flat towards us. And we could see the light shimmering and, and the, the waves, the, the actual air, you could see the air coming towards us. And it hit us with a resounding force, a blast. If we'd been standing up, we'd have been blown away. But uh, the noise, the noise, deafened everybody, we, we, we could hear, it just went deaf, it was that loud. And we turned round, or I turned round and I looked, and you could see this wall of air shimmering out across the sea of the other side of the island, heading towards Hawaii and places like that. It was frightening. And if it had been on land, if it had been on, in a town, it's unimaginable, the horror. But, well, you just cannot believe it. If you saw it, you would never believe that anybody could push another nuclear button.